Are you ready? Hey, Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. Giving you a little insight into Alon's new series of skis called Playmaker. I'm here with Ben. Ben, tell me a little bit about this Playmaker 91. So Playmaker 91 is that ski that, you know, uh, has a little bit better edge grip because it's narrower, right? Yeah. It's easier to put a narrower ski on edge. So, right. um, and you know, 101 can be wide for some places in the country, especially sure. if they don't have much snow. Um, so a 91 is a really versatile footprint for skiers who have a harder snowpack. Yeah, I, I love skis in the 90s. I mean, uh, I am a 90s guy. So like, I also <laughs> like my widths in 90s. Uh, when they say 91, they're talking about the, the width under your foot. So the millimeters under your foot. Um, I notice there's a, a little bit of a range for mounting yep. here. Yep. Um, so this is obviously a little more playful ski, can be ridden Good. normally, but you're gonna have a lot of, like, you can also do some, some tricks, ski some back, ski backwards. Yep. You, can, you can ride it switch. Uh -huh. you know, so this is, this is a pretty progressive mount compared to our free ride ripstick ski. Yeah. It's two centimeters in front of that. Okay. Um, but for that person who's really you know, interested in skiing park, yeah. And, and wants a ski that's more balanced for being in the air, um, that we put the scale on it so that they know where the reference points are. And uh, you know, I think 91 millimeter waist is another good one that works like tight trees, you know, something that's really maneuverable yeah. and it's a totally bonafide park width. It, it has like a very surfy feel to it. Like just looking at it, yeah. it feels like it wants to yep, do. Right down to the icon, uh, we put the wave of, in front oh, of the mountain. Yeah, yep. very cool. Um, how do you get, you know, what's the most important thing? How do you get a surfy feel out of a ski? Um, it, uh, it's a couple things. The, yeah. The rocker in the tip in the tail. Okay, right? so um, the rise here. Yep, the rise in the tip in the tail. Uh -huh. um, also how stout, mm -hmm. how stiff the tip and tail are. Okay. Um, both longitudinally. Yeah and torsionally okay. you know, to, so that it butters well. Uh -huh. um, it's actually a little bit softer torsionally in the tip. Okay. So I think yep. that's how we get that playful, really surfy feel out of it. But I noticed you still have the carbon uh, rods in here, which is one of your innovations. What, is, what does that do? Uh, keeps the ski really smooth underfoot mm -hmm. and it improves the edge grip. Okay, cool. Well, right on, there it is, the Playmaker 91. The word is, is that this is ski just absolutely rips on on hard pack as well so that's always nice yeah. and the truth is if you're like a pipe if you like this isn't a pipe ski or ski but i think one of the things people overlook is um like my park skis back in the day i needed them to be really strong and stiff because like if you're trying to carve up the side of a pipe it's like sheer ice yep. like you need to be able to rail an edge in there but also be able to ski backwards and do all kinds of fun stuff and float in the pow so i like this i like the feel of this i can't wait to try it okay. all right cheers thanks ben that's uh the playmaker 91 for peter glenski and sports get it online or cruise in the uh cruise in the store and you know give a look feel it out i sometimes when i went buy a ski I'll put it down and I'll kind of like see what it feels like just on the ground underneath me. See if I, I jive with it, you know, especially if you're trying to determine widths. Often you'll look at a ski and you'll think it's really freaking wide and you'll put it down and you'll be like, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad, you know, because it's really not even wider than my foot. So you think 101's wide, but you got plenty of leverage over it. Yeah, pretty versatile. So, yeah, absolutely. All right, good job. I'm digging it. I've seen a lot of them out in Tahoe, so uh, it must be good.